Okay, my name is Catherine Keena, Chagas Countryside Management Specialist, and our message here today is about how farmers can help bees. The most important reason for looking after bees, in my view, is that they are part of the green image for our Irish food. When we sell our Irish food, we are producing, promoting a product that is sustainably farmed and looks after the biodiversity on that farm. So a healthy bee population is very important for our green image. Bees are under threat at the moment. One third of our bees are, are in trouble, in serious trouble. We have three different types of bees in Ireland. The honey bee is the one that people think of instantly. Um, we are also interested in, we have about 20 bumblebees and we have another 80 species of solitary bees. So of, all of these bees are important for pollination. The best pollination occurs when there is a variety of the different pollinators actually working in a crop. The reason why bees in general are declining is a lack of flowers. When you think back to a number of years ago, there were a lot more flowers in the countryside. Now, we're not interested in putting flowers back in the middle of crops, but we do need wildflowers on farms. They're very often there at the moment, but because of the way they're managed, for example, our most common habitats on the farms, our hedgerows and our field margins, can be full of flowers, but oftentimes are cut and are maybe sprayed in the case of the field margins. So while hedges are brilliant, they're only brilliant for bees if there's flowers in them. So there's lots of areas on the farm, corners, different places where wildflowers um, can be allowed flourish without causing any detriment to the, the crop production and can be a huge asset to the farm. In glass, farmers are paid, arable farmers are paid to grow uh, arable margins. We have a couple of hundred farmers growing arable grass margins at the moment and within them uh, flowers will also come into them and perhaps in the future we will, we will, the schemes may, may even introduce more, more flowers as we are researching here in Oak Park. The other important point from uh, tillage, uh, tillage farmers is that when they are spraying uh, crop protection products to spray them early in the morning or late at night can help uh, the honeybees because they are less active at those times. The other important point is to notify local beekeepers when spraying uh, because then they can keep their bees, bees in. Glass actions, um, apart from the arable margins, the two main ones that focus on bees are the sand habitat for bees and the bee boxes. So this is now where we're talking about the nesting sites. Apart from the flowers that give them the pollen and nectar, bees also need nesting sites. One of the actions that farmers are doing is creating a sand habitat by pl placing a ton of sand out of the bag in a mound on the field and um, allowing it, as in the picture here, we have mining bees uh, who make their burrows in habitats like that. Traditionally, they would have occurred in hedgerow banks um, and again, where, where they're not grassed over. So the farmer puts the, the ton of sand on the field, fences it off, uh, must keep it strimmed, not allowed to spray it, to keep the sand as, as, as bare sand, and hopefully some of the mining bees may find their burrows there. The other action is the bee box. So here we're talking about uh, leaf cutter and mason bees who need holes in wood, in masonry products, where they would naturally um, find, their, find their homes. And uh, so we're creating a timber with holes drilled in it. And to get a variety of sizes, we're adding um, bamboo shoots. Important that the, 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 the holes are not drilled right through because other, thing, other insects can attack them from the back. We fill up the, the box with Bamboo, sh bamboo sticks, put some soil in, so basically to re recreate what a, an earth bank looks like. So the earth, the earth in itself, the bees can make, make holes in it. So I think it's, it's just understanding, we have a lot of habitats and space on the farm, um, and it's just to manage them in the right way. So our, our overall summary is bees need flowers, and you know, in particular the wildflowers that can grow on a farm that are already there, and it's a case of letting them flower rather than spraying them or cutting them as, as you know, regularly before they flower.